Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be covering a bit of a weird mouse. Onage was kind enough to send out the Ultra Custom Ambi for review, but that will never change any thoughts or opinions I have on these mics. Before I begin, please consider subscribing. I am inching very close to 1k, and it is a personal goal of mine to hit it before the end of the year. Now, before I say anything about the mouse, it took me quite a bit to make this review, purely because I didn't think this mouse was great. I had to think on it at one point, and I was even curious as to why they felt it needed to be reviewed in the first place. It genuinely confused me at first because it features an outdated 33 370 sensor with KL 8.0 switches as the M1 and M2. If you aren't familiar with KL 8.0s, it had a massive fall from grace. At one point, they were regarded as the best mouse switch, and now no one I know will touch them with an 8-foot pole. They have a ton of QC issues and are riddled with double clicking, with majority of the time they have a lot of grinding issues and poor quality overall. Extremely surprising to me though, this mouse doesn't have any double clicking issues at all. Still, I'm not a fan of how these feel and are a bit too heavy for me. This is preference, so take it with a grain of salt which switch feel is going to be completely different from person to person as well as i feel my right click is super grindy and has some weird cheap feeling issues So that I'm not completely dogging on this mouse the entire review, I will go ahead and talk about some of the redeeming qualities and why I think they actually sent this out to reviewers so late in the game. It is completely customizable with a ton of options and color configs you could do. Their bundle deal with every color config and the mouse included is $80 right now. And for that, you could have different colored mouse every day of the week. I currently have the pink and white config. I currently have the pink and white config, but my second favorite out of the bunch is definitely the blue and white. They've absolutely nailed this blue and it looks really great in person. The shells themselves have a surprise surprisingly good coating and aren't showing any real signs of wear overall but they do show fingerprints sometimes so keep in mind you have to wipe it off eventually part of the reason it took me so long to get this review out is i've been having my girlfriend use this mouse because for whatever reason she absolutely adores it she thinks it's amazing partly because of the customizability and color in her words she likes the way it feels in hand and it's cute which really made me think on who the actual market for this mouse would be it's definitely viable for left-handed people but in the current market i feel like the g pro wireless or even the x2a would be a better buy those two mice are going to feel more premium in hand for a similar price as well as the x2a is 20 or 30 grams less in weight and has a way more comfortable design than this in my opinion i think if you want to fully customize your mouse visually and couldn't care about anything else it's a possible option but now to give some feedback which is why i actually think they sent these out to review I feel like it's a way to get honest feedback on what they can do to make it worth buying in certain aspects of the mouse. The things I think they need to change to be actually good are go full lot on lefties, make this mouse lighter, take out some of the useless stuff like RGB and internal dongle storage. My girlfriend likes the RGB but never uses it and forgot the mouse even had it at one point. For the record, there are three states of the mouse. If you turn it on with RGB, the RGB shuts off in motion so most of the time it's not even active anyway and then it's off and then on without RGB at all. I feel like they should do two lightweight options, one for lefties and one for righties. I feel like maybe they should do two lightweight options, one for right-handed people where they produce more units and one for left-handed people where they do a slightly lower amount of unit. Most of the time, the people who buy ambidextrous mouse like this with swappable side buttons, they don't even utilize these side buttons over here. It just becomes a wasted space and wasted weight. Or they're left-handed people who get stuck with the same thing, but on the opposite side. And then there are the people who couldn't care less about all the fancy features and just want a pretty mouse to look at that fits with their setup. I think there could be some real potential here though. If they can manage to make a left-handed mouse with a similar shape to this, maybe a tad bit smaller, in the 50 to 60 gram range, it would be really huge for left-handed people. Their options are already very minimal as it is right now, and this could possibly become the new staple for left-handed people if they implement some pretty big changes. But that should do it for today's review. If you found any of this helpful, please leave a like. If you have any questions, please leave them down below.